with a huge twist. They could be playing for a million dollars or a single buck. And here's the thing, they'll never know how much, but he will. A million you twists, a million you loves, but there's only one, <laughs> Rachel. He's gonna believe that I'm definitely into him. You're very deceiving. I really had an awesome time with you. Idiot. <laughs> and all new for Lover Money, coming to NBC Mondays. Later on The Tonight Show, Jay talks with California First Lady Maria Shriver, plus Wild Boys Steve-O and Chris Pontius, and country tunes from Montgomery Gentry. Your local news is next. Up next, classroom controversy. The students owed money, so the teachers tossed their lunch. Plus, the weight loss wonders you've never heard of, a sneaker that fights cellulite, and the guilt-free guide to eating fast food. Next on News 4 at 11, hundreds scurry for their lives as fire breaks out on the beach. We are live on the scene. And it sounds like science fiction experiments mixing man with beast. News 4's Michelle Gillen has the story never told before. News 4 at 11 is next. And on a motorcycle ran over a child tonight. Witnesses say a stunt led to this. We are live. The first hurricane of the season moving across the Atlantic. Don this time a new jury says he's not guilty of shooting a boy to death. What was different about this new trial? Tonight a juror talked to News Channel 2. And local police get a charge out of a new non-lethal weapon. Find out what it does that they really like. Change. Change. Stay my announce. Change. 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 And announce. For a transcript, call 1-800-777-TEXT. with Joan Rivers. Mommy's here. Is it too late to elope? Plus, it's the moment everyone's been waiting for between Susan and Jack. And it's the Caroline season finale with a big Richard and Julia breakup. No bowl. Okay, there's some bowls, but it's true. Now, Caroline and Richard will finally be together. Oh, it's about time. The one-hour season finales of Susan and Caroline, Monday on NBC. Later on an all-new Tonight Show, Jay welcomes suddenly Susan's Brooke Shields and those wacky creators of South Park. Your local news is next. Up next at 11, the passing of a musical legend. And we've got new information tonight about a missing NC State student. Bobby, in sports, NASCAR qualifying from Charlotte. From WNEP-TV, the news station. From WNEP-TV, the news station. Yes, indeed. Merry Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. How many different meanings those two words can have? Little children yell Merry Christmas, and the words ring with excitement. A mother whispers Merry Christmas to her baby boy. 
and the whisper fades away in a silent prayer that her child will be spared the sacrifice which so many young Americans have placed upon the altar of peace. This has been a year of promise, if not fulfillment. The serious problems of energy, inflation, pollution persist. But somehow at Christmas, Americans come closer together in a spirit of sharing goodwill and love. It's all really simple. If we can only spread that spirit over 365 days, we'd have it made. You have the merriest, and see you next year, and God bless you. Tonight on Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher, Robert Townsend, Senator Robert Torricelli, James Coburn, and singer Lakita Gark. Politically Incorrect, ABC Late Night Tonight. Next on 7, two Michigan girls kidnapped last week arrive home to hugs from family and friends. Complete Team 7 coverage from Michigan to Florida, next on 7. Family and freedom. One man has lost them all. You have nowhere else to turn. Sunday, a slumlord must serve time in his own building. Dad? No! And only angels can see him through it. Please, God, save us. All new, touched by an angel, CBS Sunday. Backstage with star Fred Dreyer as he talks about the film and doing his own stunts in this action-packed world premiere movie. He's engaged to be married to a girl who's murdered, so this sequence here is chasing the bad guy. You try to do as much as you can, because I like doing it. That's the fun of it, for me, anyway. The world premiere movie, The Return of Hunter, Sunday on NBC. Yes, big finale Monday. It's a one-hour King of Queens, so funny. Open up. You'll scream. <laughs> With guest stars William Hurt. Shut up! Ben Stiller. Tell everyone you know. And Jim Matheson. Why would he be hurting you on purpose? I'm not sure. I was a little distracted by the smoke coming out of my jaw. The King of Queens season finale, CBS Monday. Wednesday, May 17th. Screen Idols, Brad Pitt. We should celebrate. Craig Schaefer. And Picket Fences, Tom Skerritt. In Robert Redford's A River Runs Through It. Then, Thursday, May 18th. A night to die for when superstar Bruce Willis heats up the screen in the box office smash Die Hard 2. Plus, Samuel Jackson takes you behind the scenes for a look at the stars, the stunts, the special effects of Die Hard with a Vengeance. And Sunday, May 21st, an unforgettable evening. The biggest musical event of the year with the greatest recording star of our time. Barbara Streisand, the concert. Watch the biggest events on CBS. Simply amazing. May it. Three years ago, he made one mistake. And he was exiled. You slugged a politician. Sunday, he's got one chance to come back. What happened to you? But he's got to bring down an old friend to do it. You ever hear of loyalty? You investigating cops now, Mike? Chris Noth is reunited with the cast of Law & Order. Whoever he is, he's in my old precinct. Exiled, a Law & Order movie, Sunday on NBC. Later on The Tonight Show, Tate takes on News Radio's John Lovitz. Yeah, that's the ticket. Plus the tunes of John Mellencamp and out of tune singing dogs. How festive. Your local news is next. Now on 7 News. The last hour is on the campaign trail. We have live Team 7 coverage of Decision 98. A teenager answers to charges in a Halloween hit and run. I'm Stephen Weber of NBC's new comedy, Cursed. Now in the show, I play a character who is cursed. Personally, I don't believe in curses. I mean, sure, somebody could have a bad day or even bad luck, but that happens to everybody, right? But cursed? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> cursed, the new comedy after Friends, NBC Thursday in two weeks. You've done very good work here. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Mr. Escalante. <laughs> all in all, good style, good effort. I'd give this paper an A minus. Minus? Well, this one joke here is unacceptable, really. Gentlemen, the Incontinental Congress. <laughs> We're sorry, Mr. Escalante. Hi, I'm Kevin Nealon, and this is uh, Richard Lewis. You know, on our new show, Hiller and Dilla, Kevin plays a fun, lovable, goofy kind of guy. Oddly enough, in real life, he's also a fun, lovable, goofy kind of guy. And Richard here plays a nutty, compulsive, immature kind of guy. 
And oddly enough, in real life, he's, uh... Hiller and Diller, this fall on ABC. Some people like dessert before dinner. So, how long have you two been dating? Actually, we're not dating. We're married. People like Dharma and Greg. Oh, my God, she's pregnant. <laughs> she's not pregnant. I just met her yesterday. Coming this September to ABC. So, do you guys just hate me? Just dessert, no dinner. Next to a new seven, the latest on recovery efforts after a plane crash near Ocean City. And bad news is in the mail for local red light runners. You seven, it's next. Wednesday, a primetime murder mystery you won't be able to get out of your mind. Are these men killers, or are there demons living inside their minds? Is it possible? Mind game, murder, and multiple personalities. An astonishing special primetime, Wednesday. Then, to fully understand the crisis in the Mideast, you'd have to follow it intensely for years, or to to one man who has nightline returns to the holy land coming up next is it your imagination or is something about it supernatural a special report on phantom finders plus how to cut calories without giving up your favorite foods next